Greetings, friend. I will show you how to solve this puzzle by teaching you what you need to know about Sudoku W Wings. And since this is my Set Light Spotter series, I will also give you some cool facts about this setter, Rift Clown. Quick look, I'm going to give it a go. And with that, it's solving time. I've solved this puzzle before. First thing you want to see is that you have a 3 and an 8 in row 6 and row 5. And so the 3 and 8 are a hidden pair and they're limited to these two cells in block four. And because we can do that, now if you see how this nine comes down, column two and the nine cuts across row six, we can actually solve for a nine right there. And there's only one place now for a nine to be in block nine, seven. So we can solve the nine from right there. And now with the nine coming down and the nine's cutting across, you can solve for a nine right here. And with the nine cutting across row three and now up comes four and five, we can solve for a nine here and then you see you've got two spots for nine but the nine's coming up column seven so we can solve for a nine right there and we can finish out our nines that is really cool something else i do want to show you and you want to remember here is you got these twos in columns five and six so two can't be anywhere in uh, row four in block five so the twos are limited to these two spots in row four and so this is called a claiming pair so that means the twos can't be anywhere else in column or excuse me block six it had, because you gotta have to have a two in row four but they can only be up here in block six so this cannot be a two this will come into play a little bit later on and think about the name of this to be forgotten there's something in that name two four i think we need to look for something with twos and fours right so every time you see something with two and a four you want to pay special attention to it and I'll give you a, more of a reason for that a little bit later. We're getting to that main strategy that I mentioned, W wings. So stay, uh, keep following along here. Let's look up column one. All right, where can a three be in column one? Well, three can't be in either of these two spots. And because of this three, it can't be here. So it's going to be right there. We can actually now solve that three and eight and make sense a little bit of our hidden pair. And so now what's remaining? We're looking for a two four and an eight okay well an eight can't be in this cell and because of eight eight can't be in this cell so this has to be your eight and so what do we have left right here oh hey look at that it is a naked pair of a two and a four ah i wonder if this is something we need to, to focus on and i think it is and you're going to see here in just uh, a minute why um but before that like i said this is kind of reminds me of another rift clown puzzle that i solved recently so stay tuned to the end and you won't get a click to that puzzle rift clown uh, i've featured before so that's why i wanted to show his puzzles this month of january i got four new ones for you it's going to be awesome all right so two and the four here we're going to focus on that we gotta go what can we do about these this five value cell because if you're going to solve a w wing you need five value cells all right so the way we can look at that is we'll notice there's some restrictions coming across row one here so let's look in row one and what can these cells be all right we need a two four six and seven because we have a one three five eight and nine right there so because we have a four and a seven this has to be a two or a six okay two got it got it and because of this two and a four this has to be a six or a seven and because of the two this has to be a four six or seven and if we come across here what can this cell be it can't be a one it could be a two it can't be a three it could be a four it can't be a five six seven eight or nine that's going to be a two or a four aha another two four okay two b four gotten all right how did these two four interact with each other whenever you see two by by cells that are the same you might want to look how they interact are they a naked pair uh maybe a part of a hidden pair or are they part of something else um it could be an xy chain or a W wing. And like the title suggests, this is two four pairs part of a W wing. So a W wing has to have uh, two similar by value cells, needs to be in you know different blocks, and you got to have a way to connect a W wing. So there's a couple of ways to connect or find it. Uh, one way is you want to look for is there a strong link between one of these twos with this two over here? And then we can solve for the fours. 
And the way to do that is you look across this row and go, okay, you know, how many fours are there available? And there's well, one, two, three, four. So that's not going to work for us. Uh, another way to do it is kind of look with the twos. And the same thing, you have a two here, another two here, a two could be there. So that's not going to work either. You'd have to have basically like a two right here or a four going right there, and then no other places for twos or fours along row six. So that's one way to look for doubling. They're really hard to spot. The other way is to look for what I call, and they call it the delta variant. So this is a W wing where you're looking across three rows or columns. So that's called a band. And in one row, we have our two four. And then in a different block, in a different row, we have the other two four, the other buy value sell. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to focus here and I'll do some coloring here. And you want to focus here. Okay, great. And now what you want to do is you want to look right here in the other row in the other block. And you go, can it both, can a two and a four both exist in this row and block? Well, if you notice, there's a four right there. So if we mark this cell and what the possibilities could be, it's going to be a three or a six, but it can't be a four. And you got a two right there. That means you have a W wing and this one's going to help us do some solves. And what the, the key here is that a two, we know a two's got to be in one of these two cells. And the reason being is that if this was a four, then if no other fours across row three. And then this was also a four, no other fours across row one. Where would a four be in our block two? Well, if that was a four and that was a four, a four would have to be right here. But we already showed that a four can't be there. So we know that this is a W wing and one of these has to be a two. And so we can eliminate any two that sees both of those cells. And I'll get rid of some of that highlight. So a two, any two that sees both of these two cells, we can eliminate. So any twos across here, any twos across there, we can eliminate. And where do we see a two? Right there. This is awesome. I believe this is the intended logic Rift Clown had when making this puzzle because it has the twos and the fours and they are the key to this. All right. If you are not that familiar with Wings, I have this great tutorial uh, that I want to share with you. It's one I don't normally share, but it covers Wings very well. It's the difference between W-Wings and WXYZ wings I'll put a link to it right here. Go check that out. And then, like I promised, before we solve the cell and move on with the puzzle, I'm going to give you a couple tips about Rift Clown. Okay, Rift Clown likes to name his puzzles either from some kind of imagery within the puzzle, maybe the way it looks, the starting grid, the solve path, or a needed strategy. And he can even will make up words if needed. So you probably saw that in To Be Forgotten. That gave us a clue of what we we're looking for. But let's check out these other puzzles later in the month and see with the naming, you know, did he use some kind of imagery or is it something to do with the strategy involved? I love it when Setters gives clues to solve by putting it in the title. Thank you so much, Rift Clown. This is great. All right, so what are we going to do here? We're going to get rid of these colors. We're going to get back to normal mode, and we're going to solve that for a six. And now row one is going to kind of come apart for us because then we got a six. Now that has to be a seven. This is going to have to be a four. And now we know that that is a two. All right, so at least one of those had to be a two. All right, so let's look in here. I think we can finish the rest of block one. So now with this two cutting across, um, what do we? What can these cells be? It looks like it could be a two, two, four, five, seven. Okay, so I got a seven here. That means this has to be a seven. And now the two cut across means this has to be your two. And then we got the four coming up, so we know that's your four, and this is going to be a five. All right, we just did all that great solving. Now we can solve this for a four and look how far we got with this puzzle. Anything else we can do now with our twos and the fours that we just found? Yep, we got a four and a four here. With this four means we can solve for a four down there. All right, now let's focus here on column five. It looks like we need a one, five, six, seven. Okay, right here, you got a five, seven, so you need a one, six there. You need a one, five, seven there because of this six. Oh, right here, one, five, and a seven all look in this cell. We know this is a naked single six. We can actually solve that for six right now. And remember, this was a six one, so we actually saw that for a one. 
So 5757, five, can't solve that uh, just yet, but we made a couple more solves there. This is great. And you remember this two? And I said, hey, these twos are important. Now this can't be a two. We displace that Snyder notation and we can solve for two right there. And with uh, the two and the seven coming down here and the two and the seven cutting across row seven, this makes for a two seven hidden pair. So I want you to keep paying attention. Remember, I got a great puzzle for you at the end that you want to check out. But more importantly, we're not done with the solve. We got the W wing, but there's more great solving to do here. It could get tripped up. So keep watching because you're going to want to see the other strategies we employ to finish this puzzle. So I'll put the 2, 7 there. What is remaining in column 8 now? We're looking for 4, 6, 8 looks like. I got an 8 and an 8. So that has to be your 8. And now with this eight coming down, uh, there's only one place left for an eight. We can actually solve that. And with this eight here, it looks like we're gonna be able to make some more solves with our eights. Uh, I think we got all of the eights. Great. Let's go back here to block nine. We need a three and a four. I got a four in row nine. So you know that has to be a four. It looks like that has to be a three. And so every time we solve something, we make another restriction Oh, we're going to look at what that gave us and how we can make some more solves. So now I'm going to kind of look. I could go up column 9, and we could do that. You know, we're looking for a 5 and a 6, but I don't see a 5 or a 6 cutting into that. So let's kind of cut instead. Let's look across here. What do these two cells need to be? Looking for a 1 and a 3. Okay, so I got a 3 right here, so that's going to be your 3. That's going to be your one. And I think we're going to be able to do some more great solves here because you got the one, the one here. So that has to be a one. This is going to be a two. And then you will have a five right there. I don't see a five on block eight. So there's only one place left for a five. We can mark that. Now with this two, we know we can solve our seven and a two right there. I love being able to solve for the marks and kind of displacing those. I make the marks to help for the solve. And then I want to get rid of those marks. Okay, we got eight digits here. What is missing? We're missing a two. And with this two and the two here means two has to be in that spot. Great. All right, we'll continue on with our solving. We got a full house right here. So I always want to shift over to the full house if I can. And it looks like that is a seven. Uh, and I love the way setter like Rift Crown, you know, you can still have some good solving here. It's not just about getting that first initial strategy. It's like, okay, how can you work yourself way through the end? They're always looking, I always like to have a little bit of play. So we're able to solve some cells first, get to that main strategy, and then move on. Other solvers sometimes do one steppers, which are great too, because you feel immensely rewarded when you get that one stepper. But this way, where I always feel like I'm making some kind of progress throughout the puzzle, and it's not completely easy, there's a little bit of challenge throughout, I'm going to remember that puzzle a little bit more. All right. We solve for the seven here. What's cut across? Looks like the six and. Uh, four and a six we got the four there so that's got to be your four this is going to be your six okay now we know we can solve this for a three and a six because so that's the only two digits left up there we got another full house let's make that solve looks like it's going to be a three okay what's cutting across here i look at this naked triple we need a four five and a six i got the four and the five and i got another four there so we always know we can solve all three of those digits right away because this is going to have to be your six. This will have to be your five because it can't be the four. And then the four will have to be in the remaining column. All right. Made all those solves. Awesome. And now we're going to look here. What do we have left? Looks for a one and a one and a five. So that's got to be your one. That's got to be your five because we got the one right there and the five up there. All right. Five and a five means I can solve this for five pretty easily without looking across the entire row. And then we still need a one, so we'll make that solve for the one. And if you remember, we also needed a six in column nine. So we got that six. Two cells left. We're looking for a three. So I'll just pull the three from there. And then we have a seven. You will need to check out this other puzzle if you want to get better at solving Sudoku W Wings. Thank you so much, Rift Clown. I'm glad you're my featured setter, and I'm looking forward to featuring these four puzzles throughout the month. I have a buy me a coffee page. Click on the link below if you want to support this channel. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching.